In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Power App using Excel sample data. Let's get started. So I've just opened Excel and then I've entered the name, student number, stu student name, stu student date of birth and the sum data here. So use Control T for creating that table in Excel. So that's a create table and click OK. So on the table design tab, then you can see the table name is called um, table one. So you can meaningfully, you can give some name called like uh, gan underscore student underscore table, then click OK or click uh, press enter. So now the data is in the table format. Now you can see um, uh, a L shape uh, and uh, L shape uh, symbol on the bottom right corner of the table. Then save this file. So I'm going to save this file in my desktop. This is called um, master student table. Then save. So now place this file into the um, uh, OneDrive or Google Drive. So in this case, we are going into the OneDrive option. OneDrive. Then sign in. So now you get the when you click on the sign in, then you get the prompt. Then enter your username and choose your account type. So now I've created one folder called Power Apps. So then I'm going to copy that file into this one drive. So my table file is here. Then I'm going to drag and drop here. And the file is uploading here. Uploading the file. Then refresh. Then you can see uh, the new, uh, this symbol shows that like this is a newly added file. So now you have this table. So I'm just opening the file and then to see whether the data is uh, exist or not. Yes, you can see that the data is there. So this is just only the alignment. Now Excel is loaded. Then, uh, then close this file. So now open another tab, then go to Power Apps, make.powerapps.com. So on the left hand side, choose uh, uh, create option. From the create, choose uh, start the data from uh, Excel online. If you can't see this Excel online here, then click on other data sources and then search for Excel online. So I'm choosing the Excel online. So in this case, choose the new connection to OneDrive. So because I've already connected to the OneDrive, so you can see OneDrive is already connected. Then choose this, then choose your folder, Power Apps, then choose your uh, master student table. And this is a table name that you have given in the Excel. So on the bottom right corner, you can see the option called Connect. So now Power Apps is building the app using the Excel online file where we yep. So now you got that name, what are the table name that we have given, then what are the data records are there. So to play this, then on the top right corner, you can see the preview app by pressing the F5. So you can add a new record. So for example, um, uh, uh, date of birth, for example. So the date of birth of the new student is uh, Just give some date and time, then name is some uh, job blocks. Student number is 104. Then click OK. So now you can see the, the record. If you want to search for an item, for example, by 101, now you can see by student number and you can search by name as well. Or if you want to search by uh, another name, now you can see then you can edit or delete the record also. 
So let's say for example you want to enter this name is uh, Fred Blocks rather than CCC. So then same. So this is the simplest way uh, that you can import an uh, Excel um, Excel sheet into the uh, Power Apps and then create a simple app. So once this is done, then uh, close this uh, preview, then uh, click OK, then find, save, then give the na app name, and let's go master student table. Then on the bottom right corner, just click on save. Then we can share with our colleagues. Thank you for watching this video.